Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, the latest version of the Jazz Chorus amp from Roland. Let's get started. I'm just back from the Summer NAMM Show 2015, which took place last weekend in Nashville, Tennessee. One of the really exciting products that was announced there is the JC40, the latest Jazz Chorus amp from Roland. Now, 2015 is actually the 40th anniversary of the Jazz Chorus amplifier. The JC120 was introduced 40 years ago. Now, that's a stereo amplifier that features chorus on one side and a dry sound on the other side, two 12-inch speakers, and 120 watts of power. The JC120 is a classic because of that stereo chorus sound that it creates. It's been used in all types of different music. Of course, jazz players use it, but a lot of hard rock players are using it, pop players are using it, all kinds of different players are using that luscious, wide, dimensional chorus sound that the JC120 is so famous for. And now you can get that same sound in a much more compact, lightweight package. And that's in the JC40, which is right here, the Jazz Chorus 40. The JC40 features 40 watts of power, and that's driving two 10-inch speakers. Now, there are some big differences between this amp and the previous jazz choruses. One of the main ones is that it actually has stereo inputs. On previous jazz choruses, we had one input, and then the signal was split to stereo. In this case, we actually have a true stereo path. So if you're using this amplifier for a guitar synthesizer, or if you're running stereo effects before the amplifier, you can bring them right into the amp in stereo. We've also got an onboard effects loop, and that's a mono send and a stereo return. So once again, you can take advantage of those stereo effects through the two 10-inch speakers in the JC40. In addition, we have updated effects. So we have an updated reverb, and we also have updated distortion sounds as well. Now, as I mentioned, the jazz chorus works in a very particular way. One side of the amplifier is actually dry. It's the uncolored or unaffected signal. The other speaker produces the chorus sound. And when you blend the two of those in the air, what's coming out of the amplifier gives you that really wide, really rich stereo effect. Let me give you an example of what this actually means. We've got two microphones on this amplifier. We're recording it in stereo for this video. So one side's dry, one side's wet. What I'm going to do is play a passage, and we'll listen to it just through the dry speaker. Then we'll listen to it just through the chorus speaker, and then we'll listen to both of them together. For today's demo, I'm playing a Gibson Memphis ES330, which is a hollow body guitar with P90 pickups. Here's the dry sound that comes out of one of the speakers of the JC40. You can hear the JC40, like all the jazz chorus amps, has a very pure, uncolored, neutral tone. This makes it great for straight guitar playing, but it also makes it a great platform for effects pedals. Now let's listen to the same thing coming out of the chorus speaker. So you're going to hear the chorus only sound in this case. Finally, let's listen to the chorus speaker combined with the dry speaker. They'll be panned hard right and hard left as they would be coming out of the amplifier. It'll give you an idea of what it sounds like when the chorus sound is mixing with the dry sound in the air. You can hear that that creates a very rich, wide, dimensional stereo effect. And even coming out of the amplifier, where we have the two speakers in the same enclosure, and they're relatively close together, you still get a really spacious sound coming from the amp. Now, there are two different modes for the chorus. What we've been listening to so far is fixed mode, where basically we have a preset chorus setting. We also have a manual mode. When we access manual mode, we have a control for the depth and the speed of the chorus, so we can adjust it to our taste. So I'll switch it over to manual. And here I've got that set for a fairly slow rate, but fairly deep. Now we'll bring up the speed, but we'll turn the depth down. A lot of times what happens when you increase the speed, you start to get almost a warbly vibrato effect if you don't turn the depth down a bit. So I'm going to turn that down just a little bit, bring my speed up, and we'll get a sound like this. Once again, a rich, wide, lush stereo effect, but a little bit more chime to it and a little bit more motion. In addition to the chorus effect, we also have a vibrato effect built into the JC40. Let's switch over to that now. Now this gives us a different effect than the chorus along with the dry signal. In this case, we're getting the modulated pitch along with the dry signal that's not changing in pitch. It's giving us a nice stereo effect, but it's a different sound than the chorus. Let me show you what I mean. Now, of course, we have control over the depth of the modulation, so we can bring that back. We don't get quite as much of a pitch warble there. And we can change the speed as well.
As far as other controls, the Jazz Chorus 40 offers a bright switch. It has a volume control for setting the output level. We've got bass, mid, and treble controls for shaping the sound, and we also have onboard distortion. Now let's listen to what the distortion sounds like. I've turned the modulation effects off, so we're getting the dry sound. I'm going to bring the distortion up to 25%. Here's what it sounds like at 50%. And here's with a distortion all the way up. So having that distortion on board gives us a lot of variety to our tone. We can add in just a little bit of grid, or you can add heavier distortion if you like. When you combine that with the access to all the clean sounds, and being able to foot switch the modulation on and off, you have a wide variety of textures that are available from the JC40. Finally, we have an onboard reverb, and in this case it's a digital reverb, but Roland has really effectively recreated the sound of a spring. Here's with the reverb at 25%. And we can bring that up, make the signal wetter. We get that nice springy sound of a spring reverb. It gives us a nice tail on the end, it has that bloom that a spring reverb provides as well. It's a really authentic sounding reverb. Taking a look at the back panel of the JC40, first of all we have our send and our return for our effects loop. It's a mono send, a stereo return, and you can switch that effects loop between serial and parallel operation. We've also got three foot switch jacks for controlling the distortion, the chorus, and the reverb. We have a headphone output for silent practice, and we also have stereo line outs that you could route to a PA system, to another amplifier, or into a recorder. As I mentioned earlier, the Jazz Chorus amps make a great neutral platform for running pedals, and the JC40 is no exception. Now the big difference here is that we have that stereo input, so when we combine it with a pedal like the DD500 from Boss, we can get all those great stereo effects right through the amplifier. But even when we're running a stereo effect into the front end of the amplifier, we can still bring in the chorus and add that on top of it to get an even wider, more lush stereo effect. So I'm going to turn the chorus on now and we'll combine that with the DD500. So here's our amplifier. Coming through in stereo, and now we'll add the stereo delay on top of that. That's an incredibly lush, wide, dimensional stereo effect. Finally, let me say one of my favorite things about the JC40 is how light it is. It actually clocks in at about 33, 34 pounds, so it's very lightweight. You could easily make one trip into the gig with this in one hand and your guitar in the other hand and have your entire rig right there. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Jazz Chorus 40. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear, and be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher.